Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to take automated snapshot of your AWS EC2 instances using CloudWatch rule method. So we also have another method by using lifecycle manager method. So I'm going to discuss about that in the next video. Okay. So if you want to take manual snapshot also, that is also possible. I've explained that in a separate video. If you see this video, you can watch that. I will drop the link to that in the description. Okay. But today my intention is to show you how to take automated snapshot. Okay. So for that, I've already created an EC2 instances and it is running. Okay. So if you see this EC2 instance, it is running. So to create automated snapshot, we are making use of another service called CloudWatch. So if you do not know what is CloudWatch, I've explained that in the AWS list or the playlist, you can go and check that out. Okay. So to take automated snapshot, get the volume ID of your EC2 instance. Okay. So every EC2 instance will have EBS volumes attached. So how to find the volume ID, select the EC2 instance, come here to the storage. And if you see, there will be volume ID. Okay. So copy that volume ID. So open AWS console in the new tab. Okay. So I've opened AWS console here again. So search for CloudWatch. So that is what we are going to use today. So search for CloudWatch, open that. So we need to create a rule to take snapshot. So how to do it? So in CloudWatch, in the left hand side, you have events, right? Under events, you have something called as rules, right? Click on rules. This is the default page that appears. So click on back to CloudWatch events. So here is where you create a rule. Okay. So right now I do not have any rules. Okay. So let me create a new rule. Click on create rule. So you, there are two different options for you based on events or you can schedule it also. Okay. So event driven and also schedule. So I'll go with schedule option. So if you want to learn about event pattern, drop a comment. I'll explain it in a another video. Okay. So here also you have two options, fixed rate or the cron expression. So, so I'm not going to discuss about what is cron and how uh, to write a cron expression and all. So if you want the video on that, drop a comment. I'll explain it in a separate video. Okay. So in this one, I'll go with a fixed rate. So this means every five minutes, it is going to take a snapshot. Or if you want to select every hours, every five hours, it is going to take a snapshot or every five days, it is going to take a snapshot R right now for demo purpose. I'm going to give one hour. So for sorry, one minute. So for every one minute, it is going to take a snapshot. So in real time, what happens organizations will take every uh, a single snapshot every 12 hours, right? So you can also do that. So in a day, there will be two snapshots that will be taken. So before the production hours and after the production hours. So you will have two snapshots taken. Okay. So for this demo, I'm going with one minute. Okay. So that is a fixed rate. Now let us add a target here. Target as in to which EC2 instance I want to take snapshot, right? So you need to add a target. So click on add target here by default. It will show you a Lambda function Dr select that uh, drop down. So you have many options here. So the one that I'm using today is EC2 create snapshot API call. Okay. Select that one. Make sure it is EC2 create snapshot API call selected and you need to provide the volume ID that you copied, right? So I copied it already. So I'm going to provide that. If you do not know, go to storage and copy the volume ID. Okay. And click. So this target or this cloud watch needs a role. I am role. If you do not know what is I am role and all, do not worry. I'll make sure to, uh, you know, add a video on that in the AWS playlist. Okay. In the future. Okay. So if you want to use an existing role, you can go with that option by clicking this button here. If you do not want to create a role, you can go with the default and click on configure details. Okay. So for this, you need to provide a name. Okay. I'll, I'll just give automated snapshots okay i'll also copy the same 
and paste it in the description okay so now i'll click on create rule so basically now we have just created a rule so to check whether the snapshots are taken or not go to snapshots right now if you see there are no snapshots that are uh, created so after one minute based on this cloudwatch rule it will start creating a new snapshot okay so wait for one minute after that you will see a snapshot appearing here okay so let's wait for one minute now if you see the snapshot has been taken if you this is the first snapshot and it is the status is still pending so I'm recording video at this time. So it is showing the time also. So the progress is still unavailable after the st snapshot is available. So it will change the status to available and you will see hundred percent. Okay. So this is how you take snapshot. Now after another one minute, it will create another snapshot. Okay. So the first snapshot is uh, always uh, will always take some time and the other other snapshots will will take less time as it is a incremental snapshot so if you do not know what is uh, snapshot and all i have explained it clearly in uh, creating a snapshot manual method i will drop the link to that in the description you can go check that out okay so for every one minute it is going to take snapshots like this now if you see this snapshot is this this is the snapshot id and this is the, the size and now if you see the snapshot status is completed right so if you wait for another minute it will create another snapshot see it is already available i mean unavailable 42 percent done so if you wait for another minute it will create another minute like that right so in real life you will not see snapshots for every one minute so to show you to demonstrate i am going with this one okay so this th that is it for today's video guys so if you're liking the content that i'm producing please subscribe to the channel i see that 95 percent of my uh, channel viewers are not subscribed yet please please uh, subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends thank you